Hi, welcome back. What I'm going to do is, in this episode, I'm just going to run you through the Arnie system upgrade. Now, what the Arnie system upgrade is, is mainly for Australian and New Zealand techs. It actually is a XML formatted email that goes directly into the insurance company database, meaning that it goes straight into their system, they approve it or pay you straight away, pretty much. That's the way it runs. Okay, so... As I say, this is mainly for Australian and New Zealand techs. Uh, the reason being is that here in Australia, we have several insurance companies, Suncorp, RACQ, GIO, AMP, Vero, CIS Insurance, and Vero CP that run on the Yaris Arnie system. So um, now that we're completely 100% certified with Yaris, we can bring you this update. Now, there's a few design changes for Yaris. Now, the first thing you'll need to do is upgrade to Yaris. Uh, it is downloadable content. It's not doesn't come as a free update. Reason being is because it, there is a major design change to actually get it working with Yaris. And then the second reason is that not everybody will use this upgrade. So it's a little bit unfair for people who don't want the upgrade to be paying for something they don't need. So you come into this First shop front, uh, we have the Arnie download, download, and you would install it. Now this product here has already got it installed. The first thing you will do is make sure all your custom, company details are all set out correctly, including first and last name for the technician. Uh, these are required fields for the XML. Uh, when I say in the throughout this tutorial, I'm going to say that certain fields are mandatory. Now they're mandatory only if you're doing an XML document. Uh, the XML document requires that certain fields be filled out, obviously, and it will keep kicking the email back to you if they're not done correctly. So this basically will show you what it needs to do, and then we can go from there. So let's create a new quote, create a new customer, and we'll call him John Appleseed. Okay, we'll save that. Add a phone number for John. Okay. Okay, so we're going to choose John from our list. The reason I had to create a new customer is because this is a simulator and we don't have anything with a first and last name. Now, this will be a customer's name, so obviously their first and last name is required. All right, we'll choose a vehicle type. So you choose the vehicle type, whatever it may be, and make sure that at least the model is selected down here. It'll it'll come up standard as sedan. Uh, you can choose it what you want, but let's choose it as a sedan at this stage. Okay, registration number, put that in. And mandatory, choose a state. By, uh, by default, it is chosen as Queensland. Choose whatever you may want and save it. That's another mandatory field for the XML document. VIN number is mandatory, put that in. Okay. And choose a color for the car. Odometer reading is also a mandatory field. So I have that all done. Basically every field that you see except for this job number is a mandatory field. Manufacturer date is the build date of the vehicle. So you can change that here. Uh, let's say January, and let's say it was built in 2003. Oh, just missing that there. And transmission. It'll come as uh, default as manual, but you can just click that to automatic. Just by pressing the actual screen here, you can change backwards and forwards. Okay, let's go back into our insurance. This Obviously, it's an insurance quote, so the insurance side of it is, is quite important. We come in here, and we've got... First things first, let's say uh, we're going to do an RACQ quote. First thing we need to do is go into RACQ and make sure the code is the right code that they need. So RACQI is the code that they need. Their trading name, RACQ Insurance Limited, and a name for your records, which is RACQ. The system used, Arnie XL system. Their ABN number, so this is the insurance company's ABN number. Put that in there, or their tax number. Okay, so save that. I better put one in. 
these are just random so and repair ID so you come in here and you put your own repair ID for RACQ in this field this is their way of finding you come into notes it'll give you a little bit of information here about the insurance company how that they like their email sent so for this one it basically tells you how the claim number is supposed to be and then the subject line for the email should be quote or invoice on some of the other ones it's UAT quote or some other weird format that they require and so on this one it's just pretty standard so okay so we've got all the details here for our insurance company so we're done with that so now we will select RACQ and we'll come back here make sure that the claim number is inputted exactly the same format as required for their for their records Assessor is optional, and then we can come into access. This is optional as well, but you put your access in, you can either leave it on or take it off, and any sort of customer contribution you can add here. Okay, and we come in. So that basically, there are all the details done for the customer. Now it's the job detail. So as per normal, you would come in here and fill out all your fields. Left hand, right hand side. Just work this exactly the same way as what you normally would. Parts, if you enter any parts, make sure you put a part number in and also a quantity number. Uh, by default, the quantity number will be one. Uh, if you can, you can obviously change that to whatever you need. Then when you come into your final quote, you have your quote exactly as per normal. Come in here, all the details are all filled out. Double click the screen. Now instead of getting a couple of um, fields here, we've obviously, we've got another field here, save as XML. So that's what we're going to do. It's going to save as a PDF format as well, but it'll also save as an XML document. Basically, by saving as an XML, what we're basically saying is, okay, we're going to create another copy of the quote or invoice as an XML document. It will go through a final check stage to see if we have everything in there that we need. If not, it'll say here something like repair a code missing or something along those lines. It'll take a little bit to get used to. Obviously, if you've used Arnie before, you'll be quite functional with uh, the system and what are, is required and what's not. But um, yeah, any problems, just go through it. It should tell you pretty much what you need to do. Then up here at the top here, we've got PDF formats. These are the normal PDF formats. That's a normal quote. So that's a paper copy of the quote, PDF. And the XML document, which if we come in here, it's not very graphical, but this is actually the XML format. So we can run through the details here and make sure that we've got everything that we need. A little bit hard to read, probably better to read it on the PDF page, but this will be saved exactly the same way. And then when we save it, uh, go to email it, sorry, it's obviously getting sent as an XML document. The subject line is quote as per required for RACQ. Other insurance companies will be already pre-filled there. And we're going to send it, and obviously you'd send it to whatever it may be. Let's go RACQ. I. This is just, um, we'll just put info.net or something like that, just a, a dummy email address. And then send it. Okay, so what has happened is now you have a paper copy of the, in, uh, of the quote in your PDF format. You also have a copy as an XML document in your documents folder, and a copy of that has been sent as XML. Now what that will do when it gets to the insurance side is that will automatically input itself into their database systems. So the actual quote will go straight into their systems. The assessor will be able to just tick approve or make any adjustments as necessary. Then you get the authority back, and then when you're done, when you do a tax invoice, do it exactly the same way, and send it through as a tax invoice. The invoice will go straight into their database. Bang, it's already in the payment process without you having to do anything else. So it eliminates all the paperwork. It will be required in future, especially here in Australia, that uh, all repairers that deal with insurance companies actually have access to these type of systems. Uh, they don't want any more paper trails. They want it all done by computer. It's just a safer, it's quicker, it's more secure. Everything, everything is better about it. And uh, quite frankly, you've got a couple of options. You either pay anywhere up to $10,000 for some of these repairer systems that are out there. Um, 
yeah, which will do exactly the same thing as what I'm offering for, you know, just a fraction of the price. So, um, really, it's it's a no-brainer, I don't think, but it's up to you. But this is the system as it is at the moment, and, of course, you can always go back and have a look at your PDF formats and also as a JPEG format if you've saved it as such. Okay, so that's Arnie's system. If you have any queries with that, just contact me via email if you can. Shane at pdrpresident.com. Uh, just email me personally and just inquire about that. But if you do have Arnie, uh, you will get your repair codes, etc., from the insurance company. And pretty much it's, it's, it's fairly straightforward, but it is a little different than what we're used to. So uh, good luck with it and uh, get in there and start making money.